What's going on guys? Got a quick little video for y'all of uh, latest and greatest shark reel newest technology. Nah, just kidding. You know, if you know what this is, you know that these are about as old as almost the Penn Senators. This is a Daiwa 900H Sea line Old school, made in Japan. Great little reel. And the reason I got this is for a budget shark rig for about medium medium large size sharks it should do just fine it should do it. the beauty of this reel is that it already comes with uh, an aluminum frame side plate whereas you know the pens are you know graphite and their frames are post or graphite uh, stands but the sealant already aluminum albeit it is a die cast aluminum and I had of course I had to do a little upgrade on it guys it's got some Allen Tenney drag washers that are already in the reel and in a little bit we'll cut to the actually putting them in for some of y'all that may not uh, know how to put them in or you can never open up a you know C line H series and the whole reason I got this reel as I said is for a budget shark reel medium medium large sharks obviously a 50 wide lever drag 80 wide lever drag they're gonna just outperform this reel no questions asked but this is this 900H and of course the the pen 9 knot senators or just you know classic shark beach reels they get the job done within their limitations and of course if you spool them right and under the right conditions you can land some big sharks but I wouldn't recommend using them for big sharks you know you get better equipment for the task at hand but for medium medium large sharks sharks are under 10 feet definitely gonna get the job done alright guys to swap out the dry washers you're gonna need to open up the rail from the handle side. To do that, you need a few tools. One, a small flathead screwdriver to take this piece off. Two, you're gonna need a, a pen wrench tool or the a Shimano TLD wrench tool with the star to take this little kit nut off. And then the third tool you're gonna need is a size two Phillips head for these screws and these inner screws. Very simple tools you probably already have. Or should have at least. Let's get it going. This little screw right here, all it does is kind of a set screw for the this nut to prevent it from backing out. Put that down, don't lose it. You can use the pen tool. It'll get on there. The pen tool doesn't quite fit perfectly, but it'll get the job done. The small tool is more is a perfect fit though. That's off. Take the handle. That little washer, tension washer. Your star. Spacer. And then there's some tension springs in there you could take out. But I'm just going to unscrew this stuff and we'll take those out later. First, you unscrew the screws on the outside. Alright, so once you unscrew all these screws, just take note that these two at the bottom on the real feet are different sizes. And then the other three on the top are the same. And once that's done, just picks up out. The harness lugs fall out. And you just move that away. And then we're just left with these four screws right here. Again, just unscrew them. And sorry about the loud ratchet noise. It just makes it go faster. Sorry, guys. Or I can just do that. Ooh, almost up. I got this reel for a really good price. And once I took it apart, you could tell that the individual that used this reel really took care of it. So now once you got all the screws out, you can just push this down, pull this up. And there you got your set plate and everything you need to get at to swap the drags out. 
These are three tension springs. I'll go over that later when we put it back together. Your slotted washer. Carbon fiber. Let me just take the whole set out. Washer. Fiber washer. No. That and of course this little one that goes under the main gear. So if you do the Allen Tanny drag upgrade, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get five carbon fiber washers that go under the inside the the drag uh, drive gear, and then you're gonna get this sixth one that goes under it, and then you're gonna get four metal washers. And the fifth metal washer you're going to have to use on the top. And these are from the original ones. You could either use the thinner slotted one. This one originally comes on the, the bottom. Or the thicker one that was on the top of the drag stack from the manufacturer. If you don't want to uh, purchase the Allen Tanny drag upgrade crit kit. You don't have to. You can just get these carbon fiber drag washers. These are 12 watt drag washers HT100s from Penn. And what you do is you get five of them and you'll just double up the bottom two. So you'll take two, put them there, then your keyed washer, take two, put on top, ear, then your final one, and slotted. And there you'll have, you won't get as much drag with the additional metal washers. But, you know, it'll still be a lot smoother than the stock ones. Alright, so the order you put them back in is you take the small one. Put it under your gear. Throw that one on, on your drive sh uh, shaft or gear sleeve. <laughs> take it. Take a washer, fiber washer. Put it in. Take your slotted one. That one goes on top. There's a tight fit here. No, oh, go in. Fail. <laughs> and carbon. And do an eared washer. Throw that one in there. Another carbon. And you just basically alternate the eared carbon slotted. Another carbon. Eared. Carbon. And then for the last one, you're going to have to reuse one of the original slotted ones. Again, there's a thick one and a thin one. A lot of people use the thicker one. But... For my row, I use the thin one because once you put it back together again, uh, if you use the thick one, it's kind of tight in there. So uh, it doesn't turn as smooth until you start uh, putting some drag on it and, and compression the stack. And it works just fine, but I just, just like the drag range with the thinner one better myself. And you can go back. And then now once we're here, we're ready to put it back together in the side plate. I love this over the pen centers because look these yoke springs are retained your dog is retained and it's just it's just so much easier to put it back together than the center is even though the centers aren't hard once you figure out how to do it this one heck of a lot easier you literally just drop this on over it like that. screw these back on a little bit A little bit. All right. Once I screwed in the screws just a little bit, flip it over. Make sure your eccentrics in place. These two slots right here, or your screws are down. Sometimes this uh, dog post will come out and it's slotted, so you have to like turn it and get it back in that rectangular slot. Once everything's set, then screw it down. The rest of the way, do a function check, make sure everything's working, snug the screws up, you don't have to go super tight, but definitely get them snug. Then, 
you can either, just depending on how you want it, you can throw in your spacer or your tension washers. For the tension washers, you got three different ones. You got a thick one, a flat one, and then a thin, or a thinner one. And they got to be, your thick one's going to go in first, and it's going to go in like this on the bottom. If y'all can see that. It's not straight. So they got a cup together, basically. So you throw that thick one in there, like this, like a bowl. Then you throw your flat one. And your top one's going to cup down like this. Make sure it's right. Put your spacer tube on. Your star. Washer. Everything's tight fit, man. Whoever had this reel took really good care of it. They obviously used it, but uh, they took really good care of it. Your handle. Your nut. Oh, that lined up. Use your Shimano tool. And you don't have to crank down on this. You just gotta get it snug and line it up with that set screw. Because that set screw will keep that nut from backing off. Alright, once you get your side plate completed, all you need to do is put it back on the frame and make sure to put your harness lugs in. And the key is this little point on the harness lugs goes towards the spool. This is kind of like a little tricky to get both the harness lug and the rod brace lug on at the same time. Up a little bit. There we go. Once you got them in there, they'll hold together and you just rotate it a little bit, line up the screw holes. Remember the three on top, the screws for the three on top are different from the two bottom ones that go into the rod stand. And that is pretty much it, guys. Then I just function check it, make sure nothing's grinding. Free spool works. Star's good. I just snug them down. Don't got any extra parts left over. Because, you know, that's happened before. <laughs> Even though there's not many parts to this reel. And that's pretty much it. All right, now we got the reel completely together. Just check the drag. And the beauty about the drag upgrade is it is just smooth. We did get more drag than the original uh, washers. But really, the most important to me is it's just super smooth all the way through the range of the drag. And I'll, obviously, I can crank this down a lot more. But it's super smooth. We got more drag. And, of course, most important part. When a shark takes off, it sounds bad, a hey guys. <laughs> Man, I just love the clicker. It's almost like the pan sounder clicker. It's super loud, and in the middle of the night when that goes off, that's gonna get your heart pumping. Look at this drag right here. Man, that sounds awesome. It's the little take on the Daiwa 900H. Great little reel. They're discontinued, but uh, on the secondhand market, you can find them for a good price. I found this one. It's obviously well used, but again, the person that used this one took really good care of it. Got a really good deal on it, and it's almost brand new inside. <laughs> so, hopefully... We're going to share some videos of putting sharks on the sand with this bad boy and uh, some of our other shark rigs. So, if y'all like the video, give it a like. If you got a comment or question, 
go ahead and drop it in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And y'all, have a great day.